Today, we are leaving Waitemo after a week of caving craziness to go to Raglan for a day of canyoning craziness. We just can't help ourselves. We have to get wet every single day. We are driving on our way from Waitomo to Raglan, which is about one hour and 20 minutes from the rolling green hills covered in cows of Waitomo to the winding forested roads of Raglan. Today we're going with Raglan Rocks to do some canyoning around Raglan and I'm really pumped about it. We pack up at what just seems to be like a grassy field and then it's time to just go into the sheep fields and just go on this adventure. Gareth, just pick up a piece of wood, lift up a fence, and we just slide under the fence. Go, 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 run! Whoa! <laughs> Step three on the way out. <laughs> Three. 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 Suddenly, out of nowhere, behind the bushes, is a little stream. So we get to this really small little concrete tunnel, which is just enough to fit a human being in it, and that's it. And he's like, go in your bellies, just go straight through. And we're like, ah, okay. Of course, as per usual, I go first, make sure it's safe for everyone. <laughs> and I go through and wait for everyone else to pass. We're heading down the stream. He's like, hold on to the flax to steady yourself. So we're just holding on to the flax, which is like really strong grass things in New Zealand, which the Maori use to make baskets and things. And after walking a little bit on the stream and, you know, holding on to the flax like a bit of a crazy person, we arrived at the first waterfall. Now, the first waterfall is kind of in two stages. There is the first stage that we're going to go down in rappel. And then there is the second stage where you just unhook yourself and hope to God you're not going to jump onto a rock. From halfway down the waterfall, I'm jumping off into the pool below. It's like, oh, it's a little bit of a shallow jump. So yeah, just be prepared. And I'm like, oh, does that mean I have to bend my knees? Like, what does that mean? What's a shallow jump mean? Am I going to like break my legs here? <laughs> Tim points out exactly where I need to jump. So I'm going down the stream and I just leaping in the water. And you know, this kind of moment when you just sleep and you can just get this moment like, whew, just before you fall asleep, be like a, a coyote cartoon, you know? He's always running and then there's this one instant where he's just standing and then he starts falling. And that's really what I felt. It was really, really cool. And then we keep on walking down the, this little stream and keep on exploring. So the, the floor is still very uneven. So, you know, you have to grab like a rock and you have to grab a fern and you grab a flax. And we keep on climbing and keep on walking and we're up to the second waterfall. We have to do a bit more climbing to get down. But luckily, all this waterfall is tiered enough so there's plenty of places to hold on to. So we all go one by one and uh, yeah, there's some pretty uh, good jumpers actually, some really nice poses and, and really fun one. Laura even jumps. Um, and one by one everyone's jumping. It's quite funny as you sat at the bottom to watch everyone's reactions as they're jumping in and when they come back out they're like <gasps> um, So yeah, that's funny.
we're gonna start moving a little bit faster through the stream. So the stream is really pretty. Honestly, it is, it is such a hidden gem here in, in Raglan because Raglan is known just for surfing, right? Anybody you ask about Raglan, no one is gonna tell you anything about it and start surfing. So, you know, it's a bit kind of a role to show you some like thing which you would not think of at all about Raglan. You know, it's a very hard, artsy place. It's a very foodie place. It's, you know, there's good, good hikes around. There's great mountain biking around and there's also some canyoning here. And the river gets more and more rugged, the terrain gets more and more rugged. There's big huge boulders that um, Gareth tells us. Th these are the, like the bombs that would have erupted out of Mount Karioi. <laughs> I hope I get the pronunciation right. And we're scrambling through the boulders. There's vegetation on all sides. Even the boulders have their own vegetation growing there and we get to an intersection and then Gareth says we need to now travel upstream because we're gonna be making a loop on this tour. As we're going upstream, this feels a bit easier to walk through because like, instead of scrambling over the rocks and all that, you can kind of climb up the rocks and it feels like a bit more like, oh yeah, hardcore adventure. And we arrived to the last waterfall of the day, which is a very tall waterfall where we are gonna have to climb ourselves. And Gareth is just going up first, and obviously he's a machine, so he's going all the way up, up to the top. I attach a couple of ropes and he's tossing down there and saying, who's going first? And Noah is going up first, and she's climbing up. Um, Gareth is, uh, you know, giving us some encouragement, like, yeah, Laura, you can do it. Yeah, Laura, you put your feet here, put your feet there, go in the stream, you're nailing it, Laura, this and that. Awesome. So everyone's up. Robin looks hilarious when he's climbing up because everyone else looks like they're having fun and stuff, but Robin's like, oh, oh. I managed to get one photo where he looks a bit like a badass, so we'll use that for the blog. And we arrived at the hostel and the jacuzzi was warm and welcoming, so we just get out of the wetsuit and we all went inside the jacuzzi where we just you know discussed and and you know we did have a little bit of chat with gareth um and, you know during the trip but it was great to actually sit down in the hot water and just have a discussion once we all reach boiling point we have to you know leave spa have a shower make some food play with the puppy and just relax in the hostel because this hostel's so relaxing